Sometime at the end next month, yeah. somewhere around then. So how are you holding up during these crazy COVID times? Well, I'm holding up pretty well, I must say. Um, I'm here, you know, uh, finishing remodeling my home. So it's been very busy for me. It hasn't been like, oh, I don't know what to do. No, yeah. it's been like, okay, picking up whatever, you know, the guys left out there and then moving it to somewhere else and then um fixing the garden or um you know the guys working here just, i just keep spying on them like what are you doing what are you doing? <laughs> making yeah. sure they're doing what yeah. they're doing i think yeah. i like to spy on them to learn because i, I kind of right. like construction it's weird it's like i do like it i mean when i was little i kind of wanted to be an architect um oh. or i think my mom wanted me to be an architect but i kept <laughs> saying in all my interviews you know i started working when i was nine years old and yeah. When I first started giving uh, interviews, they would ask me, what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you get older? And I would say, I want to be an architect. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I, want to be, I don't know. I want to be an architect. I don't know why I would say that. But now, of course, I ended up being a, a keep being an actress. I never stop. But then I do like, you know, design. And I do like building. And I, I, I don't know. I find it very fun and like yeah. I, I like to work with my hands and my manicure I don't have any, I don't even have a manicure that's a, Vida, we're in the same boat chica we're in the same boat it's like <laughs> I had I had to take all my I used to have I used to have good nails <laughs> I had to like yeah that's it you know we're gonna go simple we're gonna go back to our roots yeah and that's yeah, okay you, that's okay yeah you can start a, a rehome a remodeling uh uh, uh show sure. You That's know, true. That, you could do a remodeling I show. thought about it. I thought about it. I would be like, what what would people think if they actually saw me putting bricks together? And like that would be inspirational. It you would know, be I have a mental love of my body and my husband. Yeah. <laughs> and then the neighbors walk by. I live in Laurel Canyon in the hill. So oh, it's, nice. it's an actually very friendly neighborhood. It's very cool. There's a lot of young people and um so they keep like looking at me and <laughs> with this curious face, you know, what is she doing? <laughs> I thought she was an actress. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I like this. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it's great. You know, I think that would make a great video because we're doing a little bit of home remodeling like everybody else también. Yeah. And we're making our own deck. So every time we look at videos on Google or YouTube, they're showing a lot more women doing that stuff. It just goes to show that we could do it, you know, that it's not as hard as we probably thought because, exactly. you know, you could do it. I think it's a can do it. I used to think like, oh my God, how do people do that? And I'm like, I'm doing it. And I'm, it's not that hard either. I mean, it is, you, you got to know how to do it. And it actually yeah. has, of course, uh, you got to be very, very nice details. And it's not that yeah. easy, but meaning like, it's not, I mean, it doesn't require, it require a lot of strength or certain yeah. things, you know? Yeah, That's sure, true. sure, for sure. <laughs> and, and, and we make our kids do it too, so they yeah. can learn. Even That's they awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm the person. I'm the kind of person who needs to. I need to touch it to feel connected yeah. to it, and I think that's awesome. I mean, right now yeah. I feel very connected to this. <laughs> <laughs> so tell tell us about like where you come from. Your your kind of like your family background, and uh, so I come from I come from Peru. I was born in Lima. Um, oh. Yeah. So yeah. my my mom, uh, she was a she was a producer. She used to host events and she used to produce musicals when she was super young. Wow. And she married my dad super young when she was like sixteen. Uh, my dad was in the Air Force um, in Peru, and then uh, we're four brothers and sisters. I mean, three girls and one guy and um they're all in the arts my older sister she has a dance school it's like a family dance studio and my brother and i we decided to create um it's like a intensive program it's a, a performing arts program um i've been directing it with my brother and sister and we've been running it since last year 
so I've been running it from, you know, distance, uh, but I travel every two months, every two, three months to brew now. That's awesome. Uh, we had to start it on Zoom. It was, it was actually really cool. So, oh. because I can actually watch them now. I can spy on them too. <laughs> Maybe that's your next calling, being a spy. Yeah. International. <laughs> international. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I'm, can you say noisy? Um, <laughs> noisy. <laughs> I don't know, but, um, but anyways, it's been really cool. And that program is something that makes me feel very happy because uh, I actually got a, a few scholarships for the students last year with AMDA, which is uh, the American yeah. Medic Academy here in the States. And I got a full scholarship for a kid, um, a two year scholarship with housing and everything wow. for a kid who's actually Venezuelan who okay. came to and he didn't even have where to live and he wow. got to school and he didn't he didn't have a place to live he didn't and then he's such a hard worker guy hard working and he's like super talented he he won it he won the scholarship i had no say in it the people wow. came from new york the director of scholarships and and it was awesome and then we gave a few more scholarships and that made me feel amazing that's beautiful so, that's amazing yeah that's that beautiful. Was awesome. that was awesome yeah I have a special love for Venezuela too because of everything they've gone through, you know. And for him to have an opportunity like that is is beautiful. It's amazing for sure. So tell me, you started acting at the age of nine, Vela? I did, yes, in Lima. Um, and what? Tell us about that. How did that get? How did you fall into that? How did that happen? So my sisters, they were already acting. They were actresses. They were big because they did the show called um, Torbellino. Okay. And they had a music band. It was like a music group, and they used to like fill stadiums. Wow. People. It was. They were big. They were, This was back in ninety eight, ninety nine. And then um, I used to go with them. Uh, I used to get on the bus with them. I used to go, you know, to the shoot with them. I used to play with, I don't know, the cameras and I used to see the crew and all that. And then there was an opening, there was a, a, an audition for kids because this producer, Lucho Yosa, Luis Yosa, who directed Anaconda. Oh. He directed okay. Anaconda, El Especialista, yeah. with Sylvester Stallone. Wow. So this guy, he's, he's a Peruvian producer and, and director. Um, that was back in the time here in Los Angeles. But then he moved back to Peru and he started doing this productions. Torbellino was one of them. It was a huge success. And then he decided to do with his wife this kids series. It was like a, yeah, it was like a, like a series, like a kids series. And, and then I auditioned. I did the, the program. They, did, they make us do like to all of the kids. Um, There's um, this, like the other program kind of thing where you yeah classes acting classes theater class it was like games so <clears throat> oh man I, I remember that I was just telling my husband actually I don't know why I was thinking about this but um I was so nervous because I thought that I was not gonna get the role <laughs> I was only nine but it meant so much to me because I it was like it, that was my life I already knew it because I was there you know I used to like fake that I was ill that I was feeling sick and, and my sister could just take me and steal me and take me to the shoot with her because I was like begging her please take me I want I just want to see you and I would not complain just sit in the corner watch the guys you know wow. holding the cameras carrying the cables like and I love it I would love everything about it everything about it and um so I had this pressure in me I was like I need to get this role and I was so excited and I finally got it Right. I finally got him. It was like, oh my god! It was like happening. <laughs> and then, and then that was the beginning of everything. And then after that, it came another one. And then after that one, came another one. And then I, I wasn't <laughs> stopping. And then I would beg my mom because my mom she didn't want me to be an actress anymore. She was like, your sisters, they're they're having a hard time with it because they were pretty big, and she was leaving everything with them. And she was like, I don't want this for you. You want to be an artist. You want to be a <laughs> Sure. <laughs> and I was like, oh. uh, so I had to beg her, and then, and then I was too old for her not to let me in. <laughs> I was bringing, you know, food to the table. Yeah. Yeah. 
I hear you. That was, that was a big fan. So let's talk about uh, the new movie you're starring in, uh, Force of Nature, which you're in there with uh, David Zayas, which and Mel Gibson, Kate Bosworth, and Neil Hirsch, and some other really good actors. As yeah, well. that's a great cast. They didn't have his, your look over there. He kind yeah. of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that whole look. <laughs> this, is, this is me. This is how when I when we go out, when we have to go to meetings. Yeah, you could have got that role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll let David be the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. It is amazing. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about um, tell us some, some about your character in the movie and and what it was like uh, filming in Puerto Rico and and was it really raining that hard that day or was it just water? Or, I, I was wondering when I was watching it like how they did that. So, we had a huge machine. I had to take a picture of it because it was wow. awesome. This huge machine with a uh, uh, ventilador uh -huh. uh, that would spread water everywhere wow. and then a huge ventilador <laughs> wow so, um yeah it wasn't raining actually that time it was a nice sunny day it was so nice <laughs> <laughs> where are you guys from we're well i'm from puerto rico we're both from puerto rico but oh. we live in florida right now I'm oh look at that i'm a champagne from from Tampa. yes Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, man, Puerto Rico was, was, was so amazing. The, the movie was, the, the experience of the movie was great. Um, they told me that I got the role like 48 hours before um, I had to jump on a plane. Oh, man. Yeah. Thank God for that notice, huh? <laughs> exactly. And I just finished another movie. I finished shooting uh, Como Caído del Cielo with the Marcha Parra, the movie for Netflix. And, and I was like at home, you know, working on the house. Yeah. <laughs> and then they call me and it's like, okay, you gotta leave in 48 hours. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. um, do you know how to shoot? And I'm like, well, <laughs> my father took me maybe once or twice to the shoot place, but I don't love it. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. I'm like, okay, I need to learn right now. And so I got to Puerto Rico and the first thing they did was to teach me how to shoot. And then oh. they show up with this huge, um, yeah. uh, yeah. wasn't it, what is that? What was that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And I'm like, this is like a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> like the teeth. <laughs> than I am. Yeah, I was pretty impressed when I saw you with that, actually. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. I have a video of that behind. <laughs> you're, pretty, you're pretty tough, man. You're pretty tough. Yeah. In, in, I mean, <laughs> it, was so, it's, it was so much fun. I think the character, I mean, it was, it was perfect for me because it was like this, um, como se dice, um, uh, this, um, a, like young police who's like learning how to you know be the best police that she can be and she's yeah. so curious and she just wants to prove herself yeah so, um you captured that perfect yeah. you did oh, you thank that you. i liked it um i i love to see you too interact también with mel gibson i thought that was very good you know oh, um, thank you I mean, thank you it was so much fun I, I had to get it out of my chest the first day so this is it 48 hours right i have to jump on a plane i'm in puerto rico like big news you're gonna work for with you know with mel gibson with the millers with kate with michael polish da, 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 da. i'm like okay i don't have any time to process all of this then you see me learning how to shoot you know oh, wow. after two hours that i arrive in puerto rico and then i'm like going to meet mel and i'm like so nervous right oh, my to meet God. everybody really but you know, Mel is like, I mean, he's, he's a lame, right? A legend. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm this young girl from Lima, Peru. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like dreaming to tell my mom, to tell my friends. Yeah. I didn't have any time to tell anybody. And I'm like, okay, right? I had to dye my hair darker. Yeah. This. I had to ask my husband to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
did in the bathroom. Oh, wow. uh, it, was, it was awesome. And then, and then I'm there, of course, right? And then, okay, after 48 more hours, I was on the set, ready to shoot. And now, only my only thought was before, like, oh, cameras rolling. I was thinking, I, this is Mel Gibson. He's right there. I'm gonna do the scene with him. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be thinking of the lines and the actions and my objective and all of these things, carrying the bazooka. But I kept thinking. <laughs> But I could only think, oh, shoot, is that Mel Gibson? Oh, that's not right. <laughs> I can only imagine. I can only oh, imagine. man, I, it was so hard. So I, after the first scene, I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I got to focus. So I, we went back to the chairs, you know, the actor's chairs, this place where they, you know, they have reserved. They sit. <laughs> yeah, and we were sitting there, and Mel was there, so I had to, I had to tell him. So I went there and I said, listen, Mel, I got to get it out of my chest. I think you are an amazing actor. You're one of my favorite actors and I admire your career. And uh, I'm just a huge fan. I just got to say it because if not, I'm not going to be able to focus, to focus on what I have to do. And he was like, okay, well, thank you. And I was like, okay, perfect. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Next scene. <Awesome. laughs> and after that, I was much better. That's but good. every day felt like every hour felt like a day. Every day felt like a, I don't know, like a week, like a month. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. I was just absorbing everything. He moved so fast. Yeah, uh, he seems like that kind of person. Like, yeah, quick, quick. Yeah, he's like a character too. Like he's a jokester. From what I understand. Yeah, he's 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 a, he's a strong man. He goes so fast. His mind his mind goes really fast so you gotta adapt you gotta get on the bus or, or the bus goes and leaves you right you know? wow. yeah like, okay I'm, well, I'm jumping in you did a great job yeah you know Thank you, you did a great job I'm, I'm really um happy and proud of a latina oh, so going in there and that especially after hearing that it was like a crash course 48 hours another 48 hours <laughs> and oh you just brought on you know that's that's it's not always easy but you know what it's not about being easy but it's about making it look easy and effortless which is 100% thank you, know? you so much i appreciate it yeah i remember you know i was talking to pedro capo he's, he's a friend of mine he's from puerto rico see, see, okay and, and i was talking to him and i'm like pedro i'm going to do this movie you know, you would have been perfect for, for a role here. I'm going to, I'm going to pl be playing a Puerto Rican. He's like, you better, you better do the, the acting right. You better. And I was like, shoot, man, you should like give me some words of like confidence here. He's like, instead of a warning. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, shoot, Puerto Rican accent. Yes. <laughs> he had to scare no, you that, straight. That playing, a, playing a Puerto Rican is a little easier, is a little more easier than playing a Cuban. Because then you're like, oh yeah, chico, que pasa, chico? No, hola, ya, chico. Yeah, yeah. you got to get those accents right. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, I have a really amazing accent coach. Um, and I have so many friends from Puerto Rico and so many friends from Cuba. But yeah, man, it was so much fun. So much fun. Puerto Rico, cool. I absolutely loved it because I've been there for vacation, on vacation uh -huh. um, the previous times, but never this long. Yeah. Never under this circumstances. I mean, everything that uh, the governor was happening right there. Oh, wow. man. You like, went through drama time. That's right. Todo, the big marcha, yeah. todo, todo, todo. Ricky Martin was there. Todo el mundo estaba ahí. It was like supporting the streets were like, covered by papers and signs and messages a little bit chaotic at the same time as everything else yeah. but you know what i actually had a good feeling of the people though yeah like the you know the strength people and then how they managed the whole situation how united they were how um they 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 were having a message right and it was very clear and besides all the drama the, the internet connection is unstable there was a there was a lot of like faith and a lot of laughs and a lot of like good energy around mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Which was uh, the contrast was very beautiful. I'm just like, yeah. contrast. Well, that was like quite that. a time. Yeah, that was quite a time for you guys to be there. I mean, after the storm and also during the storm because of the storm being you know everything that was going on versus not the weather but the climate of the people. 
And you know what? The people of Puerto Rico are just, I think Latinos in general, Hispanics in general are just like strong because we're used to different obstacles. But during that time period, it was especially yeah. uh, trying for the community. And they did, it looked very beautiful. The pictures and images that I saw of that time of coming together and of just peacefully transitioning and asking for a change and transitioning into something else without it becoming like crazy, you know? Exactly, exactly. Right. It was so beautiful to watch and to, and I actually wrote a little bit of it, about it on my Instagram when I was just feeling so, I was feeling so thankful to be there because it was an, a very important time, very important yeah. moment in history. Yeah. So I liked it, I liked it a lot. Although we had, we were not prohibited, but we, we had to be very cautious in like going out to the claro. center of the, to the old city. Yeah. But I, still I had to go. So I would just walk. I remember I left the hotel and I walked all the way till the, till the old city. And I was like, I mean, I'm from Lima, you know, you're not yeah. going to tell me to do it, like be in the neighborhood. My, <laughs> I mean, I still live in Pueblo Libre. And like, sure, so, sure. so I was like, yeah, okay. And, and then, because I was looking for a Peruvian restaurant, but it was really late. And, um, and I, still, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel bad. Yeah. I felt good. I was like, okay, this, this is not bad at all. And then I was yeah. there and I was in the old seat and everybody was dancing in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love yeah. that. It was Sunday. And they were they were dancing in this square. ¿Cómo se llama esta callecita? Este square. Um, Calle San Jose, around there. Um, es como una square que es yeah. como una la plaza, la plaza, la plaza. La plaza, la plaza. Yeah. So todo el mundo they were they were locals. Yeah. There were a few uh, turistas, pero they, the mayor they were locals and on homeless and everybody mixed together. Claro. Everybody. It was fantastic. It's, it, it was what you see in like the Mark Anthony video and the Ricky yeah. Martin video, and, <laughs> and, every, and I was like, "Oh, this is real! It wasn't just the music." Video. You thought they were shooting a video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at your cup, man. That's huge. Cup it. I know. Is that two cups or three? <laughs> this is this is just like a two cup. It's just yeah. that my my husband and I we have a coffee company called Bandido Coffee. Wow. Yeah. wow! Yeah, I'm gonna ship you guys some coffee. How about yeah, that hey, would be uh, awesome. We, um, well, we'll talk about it. After That's awesome. We'll, we'll talk to you. That's about so funny. This other thing we do. That's mira, interesting. Mira, yeah. so tell tell us a funny story about when you guys were filming over there. Something that happened during the filming of the movie Force of Nature. Oh. oh um. And don't say being kicked around or anything like that. <laughs> oh, well, so this is the thing, okay? With action films, not a lot of people talk about this, but uh, if you are acting an action film, uh -huh. you want to do the normal thing for an actor who wants to leave the part is to be in all the action scenes. You want to perform if the 90% of the scenes are action yeah. and you don't do them and you don't play them and then the stunt plays them you don't really yeah. connect with the character and you don't really leave the the journey of you know what i'm saying no that makes sense you you just have small moments it's more yeah. connecting you gotta be the whole part you gotta be the whole exactly part. and it's hard there are a few scenes where you of course you think about it and it's like oh my god am i gonna be able to do this um but I ended up doing 96, 97% of the scenes, of the action scenes myself. So of course, I, of course I like, they were teaching me in like an hour how to like roll and like, I don't know, todo, o sea, todo. <laughs> y terminé, I had a lot of like injuries, minor injuries. I bet. My mom would freak out. I bet. <laughs> and I was so proud. And I was like, mom, look. And my mom was like, what are you doing? Where is your stunt? And I had to do, I had to film her. I had to film my stunts and tell her, mama, I do have a stunt. But listen, let me do this because I'm still, I'm, mama, I'm 30 years old. What do you, what do you want from me? <laughs> no, Stephanie, no. <laughs> but okay, so what, what was the funny stories? Um, Emil and I, we, 
we would sing in the oh. middle of sea, and we would be all like soaking wet and trying to you know make up like make new songs because he was about to release his album and you know i'm a singer as well and a songwriter so he was like you know he was like oh my god you can sing and he was, okay let's create a song okay let's, awesome. write, let's write this down I, I do like this idea cameras roll. Da, 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 da. <laughs> get in the room looking where so and that was that was something fun. That's cute. I like that. Um, yeah, there were a, a cute, a few cute uh, moments. Um, what else? I mean, besides being all wet all the time and um, <laughs> and yeah, and you know, get me more wet. It was like, no, I'm not wet enough. Get me more wet. Um, it's still raining. <laughs> yeah. What else? I mean, cool, cool moments uh, during the whole shoot. We have we have good moments. Let me think about it. That's more. great. That's great. So so when you were in Puerto Rico, what was your favorite food there? In Puerto Rico. Mm, bueno, el plátano. Eh, ¿Cómo se le dice al? Uh, ¿Qué? Tostones. No, 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 es como un plato que te traen así hondo. Oh, mofongo, mofongo. Mofongo. El mofongo, mofongo. Oh, yeah. Man, I love oh, that. Lord. I like the mofongo. Me too. <laughs> That's very good. Very I good. do like it. Cara mofongo too. You know, the different ones with the uh, different things in it. A cara mofongo with camarones or the one with... Ah, sí, sí, sí. Tú puedes elegir chicken. I used to go to this, like the street place that, uh, that had the best mofongo. Mm. So, yeah, I used to go there. I bring a meal, bring everybody, my friends, everybody. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I also went to the yeah, forest. That's it. To the, um, like the rainforest. Sure. Oh, oh yeah, El Junque. El Junque. I went to, yeah. to El Junque one weekend um, with a meal and my husband and a few friends. We went there and it was raining. Mira so we, <laughs> we kind of had to go off road a little bit, and I jumped in the river. I have a picture like jumping in the river right, with wow. clothes and everything. <laughs> it was so much fun. I really liked that. I, I thought that it was beautiful. It's gorgeous there. Beautiful, beautiful. So serene, right? And peaceful. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And then I went to El Dorado, where Ricky Martin has his home, I think. I was like, okay. where's Ricky Martin? <laughs> he was in San Juan. <laughs> I didn't find him. Yeah, he was dancing in San Juan. <laughs> but um, beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful beach, beautiful. Yeah, I've gone to that beach. It's, it is beautiful. I, I remember there being a lot of uh, almond trees and being almonds all over, like the beachy area. And I used to grab them, and I was like, "Where did these come from?" You know, they were in the thing. <laughs> it yeah, is beautiful because my family's from Corozal, which is about. 20 minutes away from Dorado. So I'm pretty familiar with that area. It's very beautiful. Very cool. Very, very, it's a very cool island. Very, very pretty. Yeah. Um, so tell us about any new projects that you want to share with us. Well, um, let me tell you. I just filmed the movie after, after Force of Nature. Mm -hmm. I was back in my house, relaxing. Of course. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to start again, working on the house. <laughs> and then I got a call uh, from Carlos Cuaron. It's Al Alfonso Cuaron's uh, brother, Carlos. Uh, I don't know if you watched Y Tu Mama También. Um, Not familiar. Gael Garcia, Diego Luna. Okay. Um, Rudy Cursi. He's a Mexican. He's a Mexican director and... and uh, screenwriter he, yes. he was uh, he's an Oscar nominated for y tu mama también for the script mm -hmm. and Alfonso directed it anyway so Carlos um, he's a great Mexican director and and he offered me this role I mean I had to audition and everything but mm -hmm. I got the role mm -hmm. awesome. I had to jump on a plane again and go to Tulum after a month and then go to Tulum for a month and then go to Dominican Republic Oh, so man. last year was awesome. I did Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Tulum. It was fantastic. Wow. I did Tijuana. I did Mexico. I did yeah. Wow. 
yeah, that, last year was what's awesome. I did three films. So, so, um, so this film is called Amalgam, the one I wrote and directed, and it's gonna come out. Here. And I just talked to him, and we're just waiting to hear what's gonna happen with the festivals and everything, because I think it's more of like a festival film. Nice. Um, and it's a really cool film too. It's about relationships and um, breakdowns, which I love. I love films about, you know, human sure. relation, relationships and breakdowns and everything. Uh -huh. So it's cool. That's awesome. That's yeah, that's gonna come action. out this year. No action scenes on that yeah. one. <laughs> there is one, but I don't know what happened with that one. No, no, no. No, no, no dangerous stuff. Just oh. very strong emotional stuff, mm -hmm. like really strong. I play a dentist. Mm -hmm. We're four dentists. It's Tony Dalton, Manolo Cardona, Miguel Rodarte, and, and myself. And they, um, well, I'm producing a film uh, this year, supposedly. <laughs> it's an Argentinian, an Argentinian film, Dos Mas Dos. Uh, it's a comedy, um, which I'm, I'm gonna, that's going to be my first production awesome. and um and also i'm filming another day in september it got lo permite um for netflix that's great i'm yeah. believing in it i'm awesome. believing in it because you know what this is just a pause this is not a yeah, this is this not is... a period this is a pause that's it a comma yeah, yeah, yeah. lives you know what i mean yeah Our i think things are just on pause right now that's it i think so too uh we get out of this running, you know, ready for whatever it's next. And yeah. sure. And you know what? Um, you know, and, and it sounds like you're taking full advantage of the downtime anyways, because yeah. you know what, sometimes we're, we're spiritual people. So I'm just going to tell you that sometimes I feel that God gives us time to rest, time to um, re-energize, time to focus. And sometimes he's got us running, you know, and we got to know when is the time for each time of our lives you know and this is the time that was forced on us where you know what let's make the most of it exactly. do what you've been wanting to do in your house you know you got an eye for it you got a passion and love for it but you didn't have the time for it Ahora maybe a new show you know? for it maybe you never know the I Stephanie, know. Two, two time with <laughs> stephanie i don't know <laughs> we uh yeah i think we're gonna do actually we're gonna start this sunday <laughs> i like hey, that hey. But we're gonna, hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. But um, <laughs> there's a show, this fan gave me this idea a to do live called No Me Callo Nada. So I ah, think we're gonna do I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm also writing a script with a, with a friend um, wow. on Zoom and all of this. Uh, yeah, no, definitely I'm using this time. I think, it's, I think it's wonderful. I mean, it's bad for other kind of. Uh, companies and small businesses um, mm. or coffee companies suffering yeah but we're gonna get out of this it's gonna be good be okay. yeah i believe that we have to believe that and we all have to just stand together yeah. in unity you know because exactly. there's so much craziness going on in yeah. some in some areas where you know people don't don't agree with, with what's happening what's not happening you know what God is in control. That's that's all I know. Is God is in control, so I don't want to worry about anything yeah. else. Yeah, I see people complaining about the mask situation, and it's like I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to. Or friends of mine, I don't judge them. Everybody can be can go crazy. Oh, everybody has a right, right. Yeah. But they're like, I can't. I don't find this normal anymore. I can't like with the mask i can't connect with people i don't see their whatever smiles and i'm That's like real. what do you what do you know like you're you're walking in the streets and you're with your phone like this is that normal <laughs> when everybody's doing that i mean is that more normal than wearing a mask in the street yeah, yeah. at least you're connecting yeah. you're not like this like walking you know like right. zombie people right. i don't know that's good that, that that's is a, true that's a good point <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> so, yeah. so tell, tell us who has always been your hero and inspiration in your life. Oh, well, my hero, I think it was my dad. Um, he passed away 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, but, but I think he was my hero um, for a long time. And then I think you change heroes, right? Yeah. Um, life, you start um, 
learning of different things and just getting acquiring new heroes um my mom is a big hero my grandma is another big hero um some friends of mine some people you know that i don't know i'm a huge fan of leopoldo lopez for example i'm a huge fan of his wife for example um i don't know i I have different different heroes. My husband is another hero that I have lately. <laughs> that is that is true. Yeah. You're right. That's a good hero. Heroes do change in your yeah. life. You're, you're yeah. very right about that because yeah. as you develop every new day and you experience something and someone does something nice for you, takes care of you or whatever, that person is a hero to you too. Mm -hmm. So that's a really hundred percent. It can be anybody. It can be. It can be someone just that, that, that opens a window, like a new, a new eye, right? A new mm -hmm. window of consciousness in yourself. And you're like, oh, oh wow, this person mm -hmm. came to my, my life to actually teach me this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's great. So, I think there's, that's all the questions that we have, but is there something that you want to let us know about? Yeah. Maybe you want to talk about? Uh, none of you don't want to know about it. <laughs> I, I want to know. I want to know. know about your coffee company. Yeah, I want to know about the cafe. Yeah. Oh, well, the coffee company. That's a good one. Yes. Um, so Bandido Coffee was created by Chad. Because Chad is my husband because I always call him Bandido. Uh, not anymore, but I used to call him Bandido. <laughs> God knows what he was doing. But I was like, oh, yeah, too, Bandido. Don't be a Bandido. <laughs> so. Um, so then he, I don't know, he loved the name and, and, and we love coffee. So we started researching about it. And then, um, first he created the brand, the brand went out there and won a few awards. He was, it was like shortlisted in can, um, like the brand that designed everything wow. before we had the coffee. And then he was working at WeWork at the time and then he was like okay I, now i have a company that it's you know people were calling him for interviews and stuff and they were like okay so then we started creating the the blend and we went to africa we had a few trips wow. we, actually, we went to different coffee farms and we got super involved with the whole process um from the like the roots of it and then we just tested so many different beans from everywhere wow. like blind tastings and we had to describe the flavors we had like the feeling of it and i was a lot i was like in touch of in the feeling department and because he's he's um he's more of like a practical man right he was like uh -huh. okay dark heavy and i was like but what does it make you feel <laughs> it's like <laughs> You can actually feel the earth. You can actually feel the way, the, the way people feel. Yeah. It's crazy, really. It's very magical. It's really magical when you actually get more in touch with that feeling department and the, the way to describe it. Yeah. And then and, and when you travel to those places, then you can actually meet the people and see the weather and feel, you know, the, all these different things. Uh, so, so yeah, we have different blends from Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Guatemala, Tanzania, Ethiopia, mm. and we have a Casa blend, Joaquin blend, Espresso blend, and they're selling and we've been selling. <laughs> now we just got, uh, we're in Amazon and, um, well, you, you can, I mean, I can ship you guys some coffee where we have a website, we have, we're running, we're just trying to, well, right now we're kind of like jogging. Or less well, than that. We uh, we funny. do the uh, we're the founders and creators of the International Cuban Sandwich Festival, which we do in Ybor City, where all the Cuban sandwich originated, and uh, that would be something that we could we could have there. That so would be awesome. We would talk about that because well you know because of all this we had to reschedule our event for November eighth Sunday this year so. If you're not doing nothing, you know, you guys can come down and hang out with us in the VIP area, eat some Cuban sandwiches, and, uh... Yeah, you know. send me all the information. I would love that. Yeah. Ja, ja David confirmed more because he, apparently he likes Cuban sandwiches, and yeah. and apparently his family uh, lived 
I guess in the same town we yeah, live right in. Here where we live. So it's it's pretty yeah. funny, you know, a small world. You yes. just never know. <laughs> See, seeing your country. Um, I just sent you my address. And you know what we could do is um we uh you know we we could do like a little review on it, you know. When we yeah. get it, we'll make a little video of it. We'll review it. Logo. Yeah, Thanks we'll so much. This this is started as a way I'm not the best storyteller about about but my husband is he would tell you that this this was created as a way to support new artists because um, the, the, there were a lot of when I moved here I had I was living in this house and I had a few rooms open and I I would call my friends and tell them to stay here and then we, we were unemployed and we were like what do we do like what can we do you know and and this time so he was like okay what can I create that I can put this actors to work <laughs> in the meantime yeah. so then he started like going to ferias and and selling coffee everywhere marketing tool and then he has this beautiful car is a scout it's a beautiful baby blue scout yeah. and he converted the car into a, a coffee kitchen like that's nice that's so creative kitchen everything he loved building so and then you know they started calling us to go to different events and and that was awesome. It was just so yeah. much fun. We stopped doing that because we're focusing the wholesale wholesaling, which is going yeah. back. We're doing second home, and different uh, co-working spaces and hotels and restaurants. But yeah. um, it was so much fun. It was so much. It fun. is the the event. The event aspect is so interactive, and you get to see people react to the cafe. You know, I learned That's so awesome. much. I learned so much. My friends you would come to the feria. I was in the flea market, you know, with the uh -huh. car. You know, I was myself selling the coffee and like talking to people. And sometimes I would just sit there. I mean, it was so hot. And I would just sit there and just watch people. It was a great place to just people watching and see mm -hmm. how people move, how people connect, how people, some of them just wait, how they're dressed, uh, mm -hmm. how they engage with you. And my friends do like, seem like what is she doing here wasn't she an actress again right i thought she was an actress <laughs> i get it i, I was like they're selling coffee you know, talking to people and i'm like um it it just taught me so much about everything how to engage in new conversations how to get to talk more i mean i've taught you know dancing classes to little kids, but this was completely different. This is, you're serving people. You're like engaging people. You're, um, I don't know, man. I think everybody I should have that experience. I, I, I agree. Like a, like a mandatory request growing up. It keeps, <laughs> and you know what? It keeps you knowing everything, you know, because you're right there with el pueblo, you know, so to speak. You can yeah. interact like a regular, normal, everyday person. And that exactly. shows you can go from here to there and still be the same person. Exactly. I don't know why in Latin America and our country that like seen as something I don't know, not it's not it's not you don't see that that often. Like in, in Peru in Peru, uh, not a lot of young kids do like you know they're behind the counter or serve other people no they don't they don't usually do that well they they don't even know how to use the laundry machine either but um, <laughs> so you know yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's why i taught my girls how to cook from yeah. chiquita God so that them. they know how to do the laundry, the cooking, the cafe when I need it, all of it, you know? That's awesome. That's, I have a saying, I, I, told, I told my husband, like, listen, you marry a Latina, you marry a private, you get a private investigator, a chef, porn star, and a uh, cook, you know, all in one. That's <laughs> right. In one beautiful package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A dance teacher. International woman of travel. <laughs> yeah. It's that's good. Great. That's great. <laughs> well, you know what? Send us some cafe and we'd we'll love to do a review on yeah. it. And and I don't and I don't know, um, but we'd love to pray for you because we're ministers and we'd love to pray for you if you'd let us. I would love that. All okay. right, awesome. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. All right.
You no, guys are so awesome. I am so happy that this was my first interview about this movie with you guys. You're so very, awesome. very special. Oh, that's Thank you. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to see your beautiful face on our cover because yes. that's what it's going to be. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Where can I find it? It's online. Okay. It'll be online. I'll shoot it to you. And if we keep in contact, then I'll shoot you a hard copy from you. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have hard copies? I have some hard copies, yeah. It's more online, obviously, because of times, but all, you know. We okay. some, we make some hard copies también. It's the, that's awesome, Latin times, that's cool. That's uh -huh. yeah. When did you create this? Well, how, how old is 20 it? years ago. <gasps> 20 years, we're celebrating oh. 20 years this year. Oh, and wow, congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a journey, como? Congratulations, it's oh, like. thank you, thank you. It's been a oh. journey, we've, we've, gotten to meet and interview and get to know a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life from actors to singers to artists to entrepreneurs to all of it and we, you know? and we have a ministry too and we minister to all actors entertainers they'll call me or call her and they'll say hey i got this part coming up the, the, to audition can you please pray and we pray with them or they'll text us you know and so, you know, we do a lot of uh, ministering that way, too. Uh, awesome. Always in confidence, you know, of course. What is, the, what is your church in, over there? No, we don't have a physical no, church. We, it's just a ministry. Yeah, we just do ministry. Yeah, and, yeah, and in our ministry, we have a, a magazine called The Seed, which I'll shoot you the, logo, uh, the, the link through here. And we also do an event called Viva Jesus. Yeah. And the Viva Jesus Festival has music and testimony, has people coming and sharing. Of, yeah. Oh, know, I would love to go there, there and sing. Um, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It, you know, we're not religious people. We're real people. We, right. we believe in relationship with God. You know, uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, we don't believe in a lot of things that the mainstream traditional church believes in. We yeah. believe more about relationship with God relationship with people how jesus did it jesus didn't yeah. have no church he went to he fellowship from house to house and he did everything outside you know like yeah multitudes so that's that's the way we we do it you know uh one day we we hope to have a building where we can gather but it's we're not focusing on it but we you know yeah. uh, we also teach about sephardic descendants you know from from spain Jeez, you know, because uh, most Latinos are Sephardic descendants. And they don't know. I have my friend yeah. who's a lawyer. She's, she's helping all the people. She's from Spain. She's helping everybody to get their, their Spanish passports. Wow. Because of the Sephardi. See? Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. We go to meet. No, we go to interview her. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, you should interview her for yeah. sure. We had a live and everybody, we had like a thousand people in the live. Everybody was asking about everything they didn't know yeah. Yeah. and my friend yeah. navy yeah. she's yeah. from the Dominican republic but she lives yeah. in spain she travels everywhere in south america and like yeah. just telling people and like telling you them how hear, to you want to hear an interesting story about the dominican we have a, a he's our like our rabbi we call him our rabbi but he's a latino rabbi and uh, -huh. uh he taught us about this so now we teach it about the sephardic descendants and so he was telling us about when, when um, the Jews were exiled from Spain, they went with Christopher Colon, Cristobal Colon, and one of the first places they landed was the Dominican Republic. So the conquistadors that were with them on the boat, they said, hey, um, let's send the, they saw the Indians, the Taino Indians, so they got afraid. So they said, let's send, let's send these Jews over there okay, these Hebrews over there, and if they start killing them, then we should just take off. So they rode over there, and they got out, and they were trying to communicate to each other, okay? And finally, they started talking in an ancient language uh, that they knew, and they were able to communicate to the Taino Indians, and they were supposedly, Taino Indians are the Indians that left Israel back in the Babylonian, when the Babylonians took over Israel, they escaped and went one way, and then some of the Jews went to Spain and different areas. And so it's a very interesting story. And that language is called Ladino. 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 Ladino comes from Very similar to Spanish. Yes. 
Are you can English? pretty much understand a lot of it if you hear it, yeah. but it's not Spanish. Yeah. But it's very similar to Spanish. Yes. Wow, that's, I, I had no idea about that. Yeah. You know what? Our heritage as yes. Hispanics is so, that's so beautiful and deep. Deep, deep, Israel. deep. And yeah. we don't even know it, what our heritage is. Yeah. What our, what, I mean, we know más o menos up to a certain point, yeah. but not the true roots of where we all come from. Why yeah. we all share such such similar customs, even though, you know, our, our language, you and yeah. I can understand each other. We're not from the same place, ¿verdad? but we share yeah. a lot of common interests, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of love, yeah. of culture and family and music and food. I, it's crazy. I was reading that um, the, the first language ever spoken uh, besides the indigenous here in the States was Spanish. Yes. Yes. That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the most commonly yeah. spoken language, too, uh, they say yeah, in the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. think about it. You would think yeah, it's just English. that when the English started coming, then everybody was doing business in English. So yes. now, now the Spanish speakers had to speak the, the business language. Now they and have right. to speak Spanish. Right. <laughs> right? Right? If they're in Miami, they have to speak oh, Spanish. That's right, man. <laughs> exactly. I just sent you the information of Navy's my friend who's a lawyer. Um, she's Dominican and she can, and that's her oh. phone. She lives in Spain oh. and you can just WhatsApp her and tell her that, that mm -hmm. I sent you guys. And yes. yes, for yeah. sure. That would be a pleasure. She's a lovely woman. Um, well, you know, who knows about a lot about religion and, well, Mel, he knows a lot about yes. that. Actually, yes. we, between breaks, we would just, I would just ask him questions. He, he was supposed to work on the movie about the return of Christ. You know, I don't know if he's still working on that, trying to get things together, but I knew he was going to, um, in an interview he did with, with a, a person that we, we know to another person, he did an interview talking about uh, how he was going to put it together, a movie after the Passion of Christ, he was going to do the Return of Christ. Hope so. Oh, I don't know if he's still working on that. I don't. I didn't hear anything about that. I would love to. I would love to watch it. But, um, yeah, you can yeah. play. You can play one so parts amazing. in that. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. So let's let's pray right now. I'm gonna pray over you, and you know, I just I I uh, I want to share some words of encouragement. You know, just to let you know that, you know, that, that God has you in his hands and, you know, you, all the plans that you, 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 you're doing now and things that are coming together, you know, uh, God's in control of it, you know, and he hears, he hears when you pray to him, he hears you, he, uh, he's going to be blessing. He's going to bless you and open new doors for you and doors that you didn't think that would be open. They're going to come open. And then the ones that he doesn't want for you are going to get closed. And those are the ones we don't want to go through. So, you know, just don't worry about anything. Don't, you know, don't um, feel that, you know, that you're, if anything you feel is, is coming to you in a, in a way that, that you, gives you any desperation or anything, any anxiety, just give it to God, give it to the Lord. And he's in control of all things. And you and your husband, you know, you're going to find that success completely. He's going to, you know, bless you. He's blessing you in your home and where you're at. And once this is all over, get ready to start running because you think 48 hours is not enough. <laughs> you know, so we're you gotta going to be here 24 yeah. hours. <laughs> so we're going to pray right now um, also for all that. For, for I appreciate it. I'll pray for you guys. Too. Let's, let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, our, our, our Lord, Elohim, Adonai, Father God, you are the creator of us, of us all. You are our Father, our Heavenly Father. And I, and I thank you for our sister and, and her husband, Lord, and uh, Stephanie and, and her husband, and, and Lord, their family and, and brothers and sisters and, and their friends, Lord. And we pray over their career, Lord. We ask that you bring uh, great provision and great favor into their home, into their careers. Father, always guide them, protect them, protect them from the wolves, Lord, out there. And Lord, open the doors that you want open in their lives so to guide them into the success that they need 
into their business, Lord. Let their business explode, Father God. Let their careers explode and, and Father, bring blessing and provision and favor in all things, Father. Bring protection over them, your angels, to always surround them, the blood of, of Jesus to always be around them. Lord, give them perfect rest, Lord. Um, Lord, I ask that you envelop them in your presence in their home. Lord, make their home your home, Lord, always. And Lord, when all this is over, Lord, I pray that, uh, that they'll begin running, Lord, again, begin running and doing everything they need to do, Father. And Lord, give them comfort and peace. Great shalom, Lord. Great peace, Lord, in their life. And blessings, Lord, for a new family and all the things that, that Stephanie desires and her husband bring into fulfillment, Lord, according to your will. And bless her mother and her sisters as well and all things and brother and Lord and all things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Great couple you are. Okay, so then, you know, we can help you with whatever. Yeah. Let us know and, and we'll stay in touch, you know, because you know what? That's one new, new way that people are going to be um, communicating or being closer to other people. You know, and, and we're, we're happy to have met you and happy to have a new amiga Amen. slash sister slash go. international Amen. woman of mystery there over there in California. The same. I just sent you a message on Instagram. All right, cool. Thank you, Mama. God bless you. God bless you. All right. God bless you. Gracias.